Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Yes, we've got a motor destruction here. This is from a good friend of mine, subscriber. Can't remember his name, but you know who you are. Uh, please uh, leave a note at the bottom to say that it was you that asked. Yes, I know I've done this a few times where I forgot the subscribers. I really should really uh, save the emails, but I get so many emails, I just want to get rid of them all because it just, uh, you know, locks up my bloody inbox. But I'm going to be putting probably up to as many volts I can get into this motor before it ends up dying in destruction of uh, exploding with carnage everywhere, hopefully. It's quite a big motor. There's my fingers, look. There's my fingers against it. It's about, probably about as long as that microwave oven transformer and it's a good thick one it's out of um, some sort of batch operated strimmer and it's from the scrapyard the brushes on it aren't too clever so I thought I'd use this candidate for this experiment it's on the uh, Variac and uh, well without further ado let's get on with the show <laughs> I've got this here to protect me so it doesn't hit me in the face All rolling, 20 volts. I've got this microwave oven transformer on it to stop it from spinning about all over the place. <laughs> Come on, you Daphne. Still see that? No. That's better for you. I could just put 12 
Rose. the other side of what I was pushing down on and the other one is completely shot out and the brush area, the contact area of the, uh, the arm 
was all mangled at the corners, which is quite funny. That was up to 80 volts anyway, as you could hear the arcing inside. 80 volts, as much current as it wanted to draw. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Nice letter for a bit of steam now and again. Look after yourselves and be safe, whatever you're doing, and we'll speak again. Probably zoomed up right up to me, guys. Look after yourselves. See you soon.